Ral has returned from whatever it is he was doing. Um, probably trying to work on his uh, mechanical skills. I think he's more of a um like trader and a, he's a bit of a sort of amateur medic. Um, which is why he returned with a grand total of one XP, a broken hunting rifle, and a broken brutal melee weapon. He's actually not repaired a damn thing. <laughs> Um, but on that, um, uh, Zach and Caleb have been training, um, and Caleb has got another point of combat, taking up to combat five as well, just so he can hit more things. His problem seems to be not being able to wound things. I might start to see if I can find a, um, higher damage weapon for him. Like a high, that hyper blaster a few, um, a few fights ago was pretty good. Might see about finding him one. Hey, um, Oriana and Rel have tried repairing things. Uh, Oriana has repaired the frack shield in the hopes that I will remember to actually sell the damn thing. <laughs> and um, Rel has tried to repair a broken laser sight. Uh, Oriana was successful. Rel rolled a one and permanently destroyed the laser sight he was working on. I really don't think mechanics is his forte. <laughs> Uh, on the other end, uh, Hakim and Scratch have traded. Uh, between them, they found a um, small trinket so that gave a bonus story point. And uh, they've got uh, another med patch. So if anyone goes down, uh, we can keep people alive a bit longer, which is nice. I've also realised um, I there, we are now entering the end game of the campaign. And we have so many story points left. I'm just dumping some story points into getting more credits as well. So this team is flush with cash. And yeah, um, no complaints there, basically. Uh, so it is time to get on with the quest. Where they have received a um, an interesting um, transmission. From the deep wilds of um, Hope's Fall near New Harbo. And I wonder what it is they will find there. So, surprise, it's actually a rival mission. Uh, wandering down the road with through the um, very light undergrowth, the bandits that we attacked last time have set up an ambush they've set up the um, crates as barriers and they're actually on with shotguns and the um, specialist has an auto gun so they're going to be running out to attack from them to attack but they are not alone this time they have hired oh my god focus you bastard they have hired a Karen mercenary. Karen are kind of this this universe's version of Klingons. They are nasty, nasty bastards. And honestly, uh, I don't want to get too close to it. Problem is, um, yeah, uh, I'm currently on a completely um, uh, like open road. And they have all the cover. So, fun. Going to be great fun. Can I seize the initiative? I absolutely do. Yeah. Oh, uh, quick point. If I can get to it, uh, that thing over there is one credit. So I don't think it'll be worth it. But, you know, I mean, it's, what, a turn and a half for Scratch to run it. So, I guess we'll see. The team has made a break for the cover. Uh, I feel I should point out, by the way, uh, this is a... Um, and <laughs> this is a uh, showdown mission, so it is if the last man standing is the winner. Should be fine. Everything will be fine. It'll be great. Okay, um, initiative rolls. Um... Six, 
So um, I think I'm going to set it up. So Oriana is going to go first because Oriana is the slowest. And I'm also going to set it up so everyone else is moving after the um, bandits this turn. So uh, Oriana has run up behind this here. The Karen Merc is over here. And everyone else is there. Basically, they're all behind. Yeah, they've, they've taken up um, behind um, cover here. But the thing, the thing about these trees is they are actually fairly good cover. The only one left um, out out of cover is this one over here, who is going for more of like a flanky position. Everyone else has run up. I swear to God, they're in these trees. <laughs> Oh, and um, this one with the sword is the lieutenant. But yeah, time for our heroes to move up and start shooting things. Firstly, Hakim is going to take a shot at the um, Karen. He's got plus five to hit now, so he hits automatically. It's toughness five, though, so... Um, I'm really hoping for is to knock him back two inches so I can open him up for um, Caleb to take a shot. Oh, that is one wound. So he's taking one stun, not back. He has one point of luck. So he is going to dive roll over there so the point's easier to see. Oh, that's even better for Caleb. He's moving two inches. So essentially. Yeah, he's going to dive to the other side of the tree and be stunned. Probably not the most tactical position for him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think um, I'm going to see if Caleb can get the shot now. You know, freeing up Caleb is Scratch. Who uh, can run up right into point blank range? Uh, they need threes to hit with plus two, so they two hits automatically. Okay, and uh, need one four to kill. Actually, if I don't, I'm going to immediately knock him out. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he he's real dead. Scratch plus shotgun is real nasty. I I really like scratch. Um. Honestly, for future campaigns, speed eight and a shotgun is just great in general. But yeah, 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 yeah. I have other dudes that can move. Caleb has moved up and has a clear line of sight on the lieutenant hiding in the um, bushes over there. So two shots, actually plus five, double hits. Um, these are threes to kill. Yep, that is the lieutenant also dead. Next up, Zach has run up here and gonna double take a double tap on the one hiding back there. Needs he needs fours to hit. He's not a you know perfect marksman like the rest of his team. Well, <laughs> he does get two hits, so he needs twos to kill. Oof, close. Jesus Christ, uh, that is, oh, that was a special weapon one as well, and I think I'm just going to run Rel up, run, Rel can't actually do anything, but meh. Right, last up, there are three hidden in the bushes over there somewhere, I can see one, I actually can't remember where the other two are, it's going to be fun. Um, uh, they are, they have panic one, one or two, so every one or two is one running away. The one at the back is fleeing, which I think there's one behind that one there, but I'll have to check. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, there are two left going into round two. Still might be all it takes to get a shot off on someone. Okay, so there is one back there. There is one over there. Two left. Not exactly the most terrifying remain remnants left but oh that's pretty good okay right you know what 
because uh, um, Zach has thingy of three. Um, yeah, Scratch can almost certainly take that one on its own. And I'm going to put a last one on um, Caleb. Because honestly, Caleb is pretty poised to take both of them if he needs to, which he might. Um, basically, I have Zach and Scratch taking one out each with Caleb as support. And if this messes up, um, either Zach or Scratch is going to get shot in the face with a shotgun. Great fun. Great fun. Caleb, not Caleb, Jesus Christ. Uh, Zach has run up here and is going to take a shot at this one. He needs threes because he's honestly not that good at shooting things. We get a hit. Uh, twos to kill. Yes, okay. It's, I mean, shotguns are absolutely mighty. And I guess now it's up for a scratch on the other side. And here... It's nothing personnel, kid. Um, <laughs> he's scratch deeds. Oh, scratch automatically hits. He's within, they're within six inches. So um, one, two or more to kill. Yeah. Last one is dead. Um, there you go. I put the tree back. Technically it's there. It uh, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um... Yeah, basically, Scratch's ability to essentially teleport around the battlefield is insane. <laughs> and, like, we are getting to the point now where every single member of the team is very highly specialised. <laughs> I'm so excited for the 100 um, campaign turn run. <laughs> it's going to be so dumb. Everything's going to be maxed out, and it's going to be, right, okay, I shoot him, I get... Three hits and they all die. <laughs> yeah, going to be great fun. Great fun. So, um, first up, the big news coming out of that game is that the rival status has been resolved. I mean, yeah, uh, the bandits are absolutely no match for the block guards at the moment. So I imagine they're going to move on to slightly easier prey. <laughs> like even hiring a decent ex-military ex merc isn't helping them out at this point. But yeah. Um, so if we just take a moment just to appreciate Scratch, who I honestly did not think was going to be... like. My whole thing was I was going to you know, up their speed, uh, make them like the objective grabber while everyone else fights. And it turns out that getting around behind cover and just blasting people at point blank range with a shotgun is really effective. So that's a thing. Um, as far as post battle stuff goes, um, got four credits in total, two from just the cash you get, um, two from battlefield fines, just looting some stuff. Um, found a dueling pistol. Ooh, right, that'd be fun to sell in about ten minutes' time. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, after uh, XP with Scratch again being the MVP because Scratch is just the MVP of this series, really. If I'm being entirely honest, um, yeah. Uh, Ariana and Rel have gone up another point of savvy each. That's means Ariana has maxed out her savvy now, plus six. So while she's around, uh, we are not getting ambushed, basically. Uh, Zach has dropped 10 um, experience points to get an additional point of luck. So that is, he's now on luck two, meaning he can take two hits through his surprisingly effective defenses. Like He is a really good tank and um of course scratch has started upping their reactions now <laughs> so they can act even faster even more often um as i mentioned about 90 seconds ago 
I'm now selling off a bunch of guns to get even more credits. That's um, actually not the dueling pistol. It's um, a handgun, the nano sludge, and that frack shield that I've been meaning to sell for ages. <laughs> um, as for events, um, Caleb um, has um, been thinking back on old times for an additional story point. And Scratch has been arguing with everyone else, probably because they just cannot keep up with them. And, um, yeah, they are, so Scratch won't be doing a, um, uh, pre-battle task next turn. But honestly, we're in a pretty good shape. We've got eight missions left to go for the campaign. We've only got the one rival left. We've got a quest we can do. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with where with where everything's gone. Um, I I hope you're still I hope everyone's still enjoying this. Uh, we've got um, yeah, right, not not far left, and then we're on to the next mission, which oh, I've started planning that. It's going to be good. Going to be another. Um, I think it's going to be shorter than this one. But that's because after that, they're going to start getting much, much longer. Um, but yeah, uh, if you want to see that, feel free to subscribe and comment. Um, yeah, let, let me know what you think. Um, do you, it, have <laughs> has your, gang, your crew become essentially combat superhumans or are they slightly more grounded at this point? Uh, I'd I'd love to hear about actually I'd love to hear about your cruise in general. Tell me about your cruise. And uh, um, while I'm reading that, I hope I see you all tomorrow. Bye.